we are very sincerely concerned with the question, and what if the same is here? What happens if a brick really falls on a protective helmet? Dropping. Well, it seems, after all, the helmet was stronger. And the helmet really was stronger. Honestly, I'm beginning to doubt the head of our dummy. It's not tightly fixed. We continue to test the helmet. What else can fall on the head at the construction site? Actually, everything. We don't waste time on trifles, and we'll throw something that's more interesting. A crowbar. Watch out, crowbar! Crowbar! Well, the helmet is knocked off the dummy, of course. And the poor head, I think it's already giving up. It's an eyesore. And although the helmet is quite resistant to blows, but the head is crumpled into an accordion. And something's telling me we need to approach our experiment differently. So, we begin to find out the strength characteristics of an ordinary construction helmet. We throw a brick on it. A crowbar. And then it seemed to us that something was going wrong. The head of the dummy is flattened, torn from the fastenings. So we made it stronger inside, screwed it better to the table, and continued. Wrench! This, of course, is not a serious danger to the helmet. Chisel! Well, the chisel did not do any serious damage. The only thing is that it tore off the helmet, but the helmet itself was intact and the head was not hurt either. We dumped all sorts of things. We used a high-speed camera to, yes, we even dropped an ax on the helmet. Now, we used a high-speed camera to record the result. But what, in fact, do we check? Educational briefing. Protective helmets are only 100 years old. They were mass produced for builders at the beginning of the last century. The first helmets were metal, but they were discontinued because the metal was a good electricity conductor. Then helmets were made of fiberglass, and then they came to be produced with their modern material plastic. By the way, very few people know different colors of helmets correspond to the professional position of the one who wears them. White is for executives, red is for the foreman and craftsmen, and orange or yellow are for employees of junior and maintenance staff. Look closely at the color of the helmet that you will wear next time. So what are we trying to check? Any helmet protects a person's head from two troubles, the skull from trauma and the spine from vertebral compression. 
Let's start with the first one, the skull and trauma. If a dull object is falling on the helmet, say, a hammer, or a sharp object, for example, a machete. Yes, we know that nobody has a machete on a construction site, but nevertheless, the result should be the same. It does not break through. The helmet should not crack, fly apart, nothing like that. After all the drops, we got a small hole in the helmet, but none of our shells got to the head of the dummy. Any helmet has protective and shock absorbing properties. Here is the shock absorbing system of the helmet, these elastic bands. And let's see what happens if I remove this system, put it on the mannequin, and something heavy will fall on top of the helmet. A brick. The ribbons in professional language are called the headband. And now, see the difference. Even visually, you can see how hard the helmet turns as if into a watermelon without the shock absorbing system. Yes, we understand that even the super headband is unlikely to save a human neck from this. Helmet versus a Cinder block. <laughs> One, two, three. But no one even said that a helmet is an absolute protection. It performs its functions, but up to a certain limit. A protective helmet is necessary in order to protect a worker from being hit by, for example, a building structure. It may be a kind of building or some kind of production. Well, and from flying objects, as those you already threw. Yeah. Bricks, screwdrivers, and so on. So, the verdict of our program. Modern helmets are a protection against penetrating wounds and from injury to the neck and spine. Even more so, they easily withstand the impact of a very heavy object. They do not break and they don't break through. But a helmet cannot give a 100% guarantee of protection against vertebral compression. You're still in doubt whether you need to wear helmets where necessary. I hope this video dispels your doubts.